another playoff type atmosphere and game at the Mecca. The Knicks taking on the Hawks for the battle for four seed in the East. And it was another shootout, man. Knicks could not keep these Hawks in check. Trey Young and Clint Capella absolutely dominated. And the Knicks were hanging on because they got some offense themselves. Reggie Bullock, Emmanuel Quickly, Derrick Rose, Julius Randle pacing the Knicks in that first half. Knicks caught a break, man. Trey Young would end up going down in the third quarter with a sprained ankle. Knicks found themselves down 11 at that point and, and clawed back. Clawed all the way back, but those Hawks would not go quietly into the night. Even with the Nick seven point lead, the Hawks would go on a 9 2 run and get themselves right back into it. We come down to a Bogdan Bogdanovich three pointer to tie the game. And the Knicks would take this thing in overtime. And in overtime, we got more Julius, man. More outstanding play from Julius Randle to put the team on his back. Reggie Bullock chipped in with some clutch threes. And Emmanuel quickly himself. Another outstanding performance by IQ. Eight in a row. Fourth place in the East. Six games over 500. Knicks win. 137 to 127. Hit that thumbs up. Put some respect on our name. This is Knicks Post Game Live, presented by Manscaped. Number one show for the fans by the fans. CP the franchise, Ashley Mall, CK2K in the building. Hey, it wasn't pretty. Injuries are part of the game. Yep. Win is a win. That's how I look at it. A win is a win. We take it, move forward, eight in a row, six games over 500. Hey, CK, what would you think about this game tonight, bro? Like you said, it wasn't pretty. There were injuries, so I'm sure yeah. we hear all the excuses from all the ATL fans, yeah. but I don't care because yeah, I just care about how my team finished. That's yeah. all I care about. All the squash, everything else, injuries, minutes, I don't care. This team closed out the game the way that I want to see them close out the damn game. And I, I loved it. I loved it. That 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 overtime, you know, I, my favorite play was that last play from Emmanuel quickly, yeah. waving off the vet. Like and Julius Randle was playing out of his mind tonight, waving off the vet to go to RJ Barrett, which led to a open uh, leaner open three for Emmanuel quickly yeah. and I absolutely loved it that it was just beautiful play you know we need that ball movement in times like that we got it right there won the damn game that's all I care about <laughs> in a row snatched up that fourth seed thank you very much Let's go. moving on Let's hey we'll, we'll take it we'll, we'll take it man uh yes, Ash what, what you think about this game tonight Listen, I had to come in here, even though I'm not feeling 100% from that vaccine, because eight in a row is nothing to laugh at. You know what's better than seven? Eight. You know what's even better than five? Four. Because that's where the New York Knicks are. I came here to kick it with y'all, makeup free, giving you my last bit of energy to talk my <laughs> New York Knicks, because this is a moment. Our longest winning streak in seven years. There was no way I was missing tonight's show. Yeah. Let's just go through the points on the board real quick. We got Julius Randle with 40 points. 40 points. Reggie with 40. 18. RJ Barrett, my nine guy, with a cool 16. Derrick Rose turned back the clock with 20. Emmanuel Quickly, the rookie and the vet, as I like to call him, had 20 as well. Again, this is another chance, well, another opportunity, another situation where the Knicks all did their part in some way. Yeah. way shape or form yes julius randall picked up most of the load but the rest of the guys came through especially when things were not clicking for rj you had other people folding down the floor nerland's noel was great even though he got elbowed in the face yeah. he was able to be a, a a solid um figure on defense and mm -hmm. things like that this was just an impressive win and i know people are going to say that oh well you guys wouldn't have won this if trey young didn't go out right listen right. Nothing is guaranteed. If a player goes down, you can still lose a game. I've yeah. seen it happen. We've all seen it happen. A star player can go down. The team, their team can rally around that, use that as the, as the momentum that they need to go ahead and secure a win. We just outplayed the Hawks when we needed to. Needed and to. this was an ugly win, but it was a much yeah. needed win. And sometimes an ugly win is exactly what you need 
to build character, to let you know that you can come from behind and you can still win this yeah. thing. And the New York Knicks did just that tonight, and I couldn't yeah. be prouder. That this game concerned me on, on many fronts. You know, this team was equally as hot as we were. They were 8-2 and two in their last 10 as, as well as, as we were. Um, Clint Capella coming off with some dominating performances off the boards. I didn't mm -hmm. like the matchup with him and Noel because Noel's just not a good on-ball defender, not a good rebounder himself. And so I knew this was a game where, you know, we were going to be battle-tested on the boards and, and in a physical matchup with Capella. And, and he owned the Knicks for a good part of this game. Absolutely owned him, him and Trey Young in the pick-and-roll we had no answers for him uh, in the pick and pop situations as well with John Collins. They had Bogdanovich go off in the second half. Kevin Herter was was killing RJ in that first half. So this is a dangerous team, absolutely dangerous team, and they started to light us up. But give credit, you know, Julius is, is our staple. He's our standard bear and outstanding game by him, almost a triple double. Mm. But I thought Derrick Rose was you know a lot of guys get this game ball, but Derrick Rose for really picking yeah. up the slack. Uh, 20 points tonight, 17 last night. When RJ didn't have it, it was D. Rose in that second quarter that really helped us stay neck and neck with these guys because we couldn't get a stop. So it was very important for our offense to, to keep the pace with these guys because he didn't want to get into a shootout again like, like he did with the Hornets. But D. Rose is key yeah. as the floor general getting us involved. Once again, Reggie Bullock, you know, with no Alec Burks, Offense needs to get picked up and spread around by a lot of guys. Reggie Bullock, 6 for 11 from downtown. We want him to let it fly, and he did that with 18 points. Emmanuel quickly, uh, CK back to back outstanding games by quickly, man, after he's been in a rut. 20 points, 4 for 6 from downtown. Tibbs went to quickly in the clutch. You know, so, it wasn't a lot of RJ in the clutch. Yeah. RJ struggled all game. He had an off yeah. night. It is what it is. But give credit to Tibbs. He stuck with quickly tonight. I thought his his offense was outstanding. His defense mm -hmm. was pretty good. You know, had mm -hmm. to battle it out with Lou Williams in crunch time as well. But but quickly delivered for us, man. Supporting cast was all over this game and, and helped get us this W. For yeah. sure. And, you know, there's a, there's a famous saying. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to see if one of you guys know who said it. You are what your record says you are. Yeah. And right now, the record says the New York Knicks are number four in the East. And I know a lot of people would like to discredit that and say it's a fluke or it's a farce or <laughs> it's, but the proof is in the record. And we are beating teams that not only were not quote unquote supposed to be beating, but we're also being the teams you're supposed to be beating. And that's different from Knicks teams in the past because yeah. even back then, the teams that you're supposed to technically beat, we would still lose to. So this is an exciting time for Knicks fans. And yes, there were some things in this game especially in the first half yep. we gave up way too many points i think we abandoned our defense and i think that is our strong suit obviously you never want to get into a shootout with a team that is offensively stronger than you because that is mm -hmm. a losing battle you want to go ahead and lock them down the way that your defense is constructed to do so and i think once the knicks kind of got back into that in spurts you can go ahead and see that the game started to change it started to shift and also it helps their offense in terms of the pace that is why they have the saying defense is your best offense when your offense isn't clicking because it goes ahead and it makes you um it, it helps it, it just puts you back into the game in a different way yep. and that's what the knicks did tonight this was just an impressive win because it didn't look good from the start it yeah. looked a little rocky it looked rocky you let man. the hawks go on a run um, even with Trey Young not shooting great before he went out, and I really yeah. hope that he is okay because I'm a huge fan of Trey Young. And I never want to see a player go down, especially in a season where it just seems like everybody's getting hurt. I really hope that it's not as serious as it looked. It looked like he was in a lot of pain. It looked like he knew that yeah. it was not something was not right. And you hate seeing that regardless of what side that player is on. He's a player and he's a person, and I just hate seeing that. But Again, we can't discredit what the Knicks did out there, even with Trey Young going down, because the Hawks just still have a very solid team, and you still could have lost this game, and Big the time. Knicks did not lose it. So it was it was a great turnaround for this team. Yeah, absolutely, man. And CK, you know, Julius um, had, had his moments. You know, it wasn't always pretty, but 40, 11, six times tonight, 11 for 21, six of eight from downtown. You know, even when he, he made his mistakes – 
He wanted this game. You could tell. He wanted this yeah. game. And in the fourth quarter, in overtime especially, he took his home. You know, I thought his shot selection was outstanding. His ball movement, his passing was was, was on the money. And I thought Julius really took us home, man, and, and got us this W. And, and once it got it to overtime, I felt good that we were going to wear them out and, and ultimately take it. But, but Julius, give credit to him. In overtime, he took it home for us. Uh, yeah, yes. I, I don't know. I, I felt a little worrisome because we saw he, it was getting to a bit of ISO play towards the end. Right. Um, it, it was a little worrisome for me, which is why I had to give a shout-out to Emmanuel quickly on going the other way, which led to his uh, three. Um, but yeah, for the most part, Julius Randle was definitely the one that put us in that position in overtime. So I'm not trying to take anything away from it. It's just when the ISO ball starts up, it, it freaks me out. But yeah, Julius Randle tonight <laughs> was just a monster. He was a monster yeah. at all levels. I you, I was live streaming during the game. So uh, that moment where he just, <laughs> just sunned John Collins in that fourth quarter, mm-hmm. like that is what I, I love seeing. Julius Randle, like you said, Bully he ball. wanted it bullied him he was he wanted they kept yeah. switching and i'm seeing situations with with lemon pepper lou guarding them i'm yeah. seeing i'm seeing little kevin herder who's out there trashing like you said killing rj thinking that he can guard julius and julius is just he he, he giving them the, the 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 baseline phase he's giving them the little bit of bump you know uh, julius randall just wanted tonight he just looked so 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 poised throughout the entire game like it's one of those things where a lot like trey young in that first half you know Julius Randle is is steady throughout the entire game, but then you yes. look at the score, you're like, oh, he had 20 points. Well, he got he got 20 right now. Oh, he's yeah. at 25. Wait, well, he got 40. Like, what the, Julius Randle was just doing everything as he has been doing, and he's the reason why he was a uh, damn player of the week. So yeah, shout out to Julius Randle, man. Like you said, he's our staple. You know, with injuries happening as the way they do, we took care of business. We didn't roll over. And Indeed. you know, to Ashley's point, you know, we didn't want to get in a scoring battle, but. I'm going to be that fan. I'm going to be reckless and say we did get a scoring battle and we won. So shout out to hey, my Knicks. You, we, you know what? As, we were able to put that, that ball bro, in the hoop too. Let's as you say it. that, bro, in this eight-game streak, the Knicks have I'm been saying. fifth in the league in three-point percentage, yep. second in the league in net rating. Their offense has been seventh yep. in offensive rating in the league. And obviously, the defense has been steady, but they've had a um, second in the league in net rating, fifth in the league in three-point percentage over these last eight games. The offense is starting to pick it up, man. I was very surprised these last two games that they they were able to keep pace uh, with the Hornets and the Hawks, especially when these guys were bombing away from three. Yeah, and we we were talking about it. Like the the fact that we were, you look at these ending scores for a lot of these games in this eight game winning streak. We up there in the one tens, one fifteens, one sixteens throughout the entire uh, streak, and we're still doing it on the other end defensively. You know, and this is without Alec Burks in yeah. these last few games. Like, I don't know how many times we have to keep saying this. Like we want to talk about, I get it. You know, Trey Young's an all star. He's all this that. And again, like Ashley said, I, I don't. I'm not wishing anything negative on anybody. I do mm-hmm. hope he has a speedy recovery and get back because the game's better when uh, everybody has their players. But we missing players too, man. So I don't want to yeah. hear it. Yeah. We missing our star in the center the same way you got True. Gapel out there trashing True. our backups. You know what I mean? And, and we lost and our backup and our backup backup. Our backup and our time. backups backup to the yeah. point we got our, we got to sign our back. Backups back up Facts. to a multi-year deal because yeah. we ain't got the body. Yeah, you know what I mean? no, Norvell so Bell just signed a multi-year deal, man. Norvell yeah, signed so, a multi-year deal. Nah, give, we taking all of it. I, you can Atlanta. What y'all can say what you want to say. Yeah, we got this spot. We took your four seed, and we are gonna hold on to it, uh, and, and we are gonna take good care of it. So exactly. thank you. And even to your point, I mean, even with the Hawks missing players, they're still not missing as many as we are missing in terms Tell of me. just what we need as a team in general. Exactly. I mean, even with Gallinari being out for the Hawks, they're still a, a deep team. They're, they're deep still team. pretty solid. They're they're, I mean, that's the reason they're at, they're at number four, and they've been able to stay there. So the Knicks being able to compete against a team that is solid, even when they're short, with as many holes as the Knicks have just in general, not even due to injury, just to do the way the team is constructed – it's impressive to be able to keep up with a team like the Hawks in terms of speed and things like that. I mean, like you said, we did get into a shootout and we won, yeah. you know, it was like a Western duel, like you guns <laughs> out, like who was going to fire the last shot. It was impressive. And I think also, like we've always said, 
in other games where we've seen it yeah. is that pretty when badly the game bruised, speeds says up it doesn't affect his sight but he wants to wear the guy to protect it because he can't shoot and see those gas he shoes he's wearing he looks pretty solid there Randall nails his first three pointer Randall didn't shoot the ball well last night offensively we saw it in Houston where James Harden really did a great job getting him involved in the offense and that was Randall to back and pardon me, I had the uh, the highlights up on, on the Julius play. But basically, if you, if you missed part of what Ashley said, she was saying that um, that Obi got going, you know, as the mm-hmm. pace had quickened. And mm-hmm. you're absolutely right because, mm-hmm. you know, the three questions that I, that I look at as we head into the final stretch and we're missing these players, number one, obviously, is the point guard. We talked about how, how uh, instrumental D.D. Rose was to, to getting us his W. Secondly is, you know, the backup power forward minutes. As, mm-hmm. as Tibbs looks to give Julius some extended rest here, he's getting him some, some rest early in the first quarter now and also late in the third. Um, so we'll see how that trends. But it's is it Kev? Is it Obi? Who has it going and who can spell Julius uh, in, in the moment? And I thought... Obi was was on point. I thought his defense yeah. was pretty good. I thought his He's rebounding great. was solid. Ends yeah. up getting out there on a, on a leak out. D Rose finds him for the dunk. So you know, listen. I, I know it, it's it's limited expectations right now for Obi, but in in his limited minutes, like I said, you, you got to take advantage of it. Six rebounds, twelve minutes, and he got his two points and one assist. I, I thought that was good minutes for Obi plus ten on the night. Yeah, tonight was yeah, definitely one of those. Uh, I, I have to use him as an example because we got such a crazy Frank hype. Tonight was one of the, he was in his Frank bag tonight, where the stats don't speak as loud as his game was tonight. Because yeah. he he we Julius Randle got to sit on the bench until about the six five minute mark, which is not normal. We, we Julius Randle's getting checked in right. nine minutes uh, left in the game, eight minutes left in the game, and Julius Randle got a nice. See, because we were we were rolling with Obi Toppin out there. Yeah, he only had two points, one for one, but he was doing all the little things. He was hustling. He was leading the breaks. He was getting some stops out there. Yeah, tonight was definitely what we talk about all the time, where it's like, who is going to be that guy that's going to be able to relieve Julius Randle so he's not gassed to close these games? And tonight was the perfect example of all we're asking for for Obi Toppin is to yeah. do those hustle plays, play defense, and like you said, he he fit the offense really well, even though he only had that one uh, shot and one make. Yeah. So yeah, I, I was. I was really impressed with Obi Top tonight. I know the stats don't say much, but he did a lot tonight. I was pre- there's a reason why he played over ten minutes yeah. tonight. I was happy with him. I mean, the six boards are crucial, man. Especially like Huge. I said, when Capella is just mauling them like hungry hippos out there. Capella is just a beast on the glass. So we needed to be by committee. We know we're not a good rebounding team without Mitch. Uh, that's mm-hmm. not Noel's forte. Taj can do what he do, but he got hit in the face. He was out the game. Pell was was ineffective in his limited minutes. So it had to come down to Julius who chipped in with ten. OB got his six, wanted to see RJ get on the boards as well, and they just had to do it by committee, man. And yeah. and uh, Noel still got his, his 12 in there tonight. So um, good on them. Yeah. As I said, the, the early offensive woes definitely frustrated me. A lot of turnovers, a lot of mm. cross-court oh, passes, yeah. and the Hawks were able to take advantage, man. Movement. A lot of sloppy ball movement. Hawks just, just ran up and down in transition, and our transition defense suffered as a result. So got to, gotta, you know. CB, we had seven turnovers in that first yeah, quarter alone, bro. yeah. Got to Crazy. cut that down, man. But, you know, it could have been a result of being on a back-to-back and being a little bit tired or whatnot, mm-hmm. but they got to clean that up for sure. <laughs> Let's get to the birthday boy to close it out. Jay Boogie, what's going on, bro? Salute to the broadcast. Salute to everybody in the chat. Salute to everybody out there, you know, staying above, doing what they got to do, but you got to appreciate and got to love it. All I heard all night was, bang, Bullock in the corner. Bang, Julius top of the key. Bang, they go quickly. And I, then I looked and I saw, you know, Lou Williams out there. And then I thought I saw Arsenio Hall. You know, that's his little brother. Quick, you shot my brother quick. I'm going kill you. Yeah, that's how he was lighting them up all night long. You know what I'm saying? You got to appreciate. This is eight. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all yesterday. You know, you know what I'm saying? My born day is gone. But I told y'all. I turned 53. You separate the five from the three. Guess what? That bring forth the eight. The building destroyed. We ain't doing nothing but building and we destroying. Anybody. Anybody that come up in the garden, once I said before, you know what I'm saying? This is Chuck D's house. Welcome to the Terror Dome. We shutting it down, you know what I'm saying? And don't make me get even aggravated and go call Flavor and bring him out here. We ain't even got turned up yet, you know what I'm saying? We just on the 8 million stories right now, you know what I'm saying? And you got to appreciate it. You got to love it, man. You got to respect it, you know what I'm saying? That You got to love and appreciate Cody. I know y'all don't know who Cody is, but that's C-O-T-Y. That's Coach of the Year. Yeah, Tom Thibodeau. Y'all been wanting to know. Yeah, I'm going to 
saying? He coach of the year, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and give it to him, you know what I'm saying? You got to respect him and appreciate what he on did because he did the unbelievable, almost like Biggie Ziggy Smalls is the illest. Yeah, he came through and, you know what I'm saying, it gave us hope, gave us life, and gave us proof when nobody else wanted, you know what I'm saying, believe in us, you know what I'm but the real fans, you know what I'm saying? That's why we go hard for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Part two of the game, you know what I'm saying? When the game is all over, it ain't over. Nick Fan TV, we on the edge, you know what I'm saying? We going there even further. We going to take you even further where it need to go, you know what I'm saying? And you got to love it and got to appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? And I love what my man, my man Julius is doing. He ain't playing no games, you know what I'm saying? He still got the miggity, 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 mack hair cut going on, you know what I'm saying? We might not even cut the head until, you know what I'm saying, we lose a game, you know what I'm saying? So you got to love it, you got to appreciate, you know what I'm saying? And they got my two brothers right here, you know what I'm saying? Nice and smooth right here, but right there side by side. I love y'all two dudes, man. And shout out to what you did to that man, Max Kellerman today, man. I respect that. I text you early. Remember, I don't know if you saw it or if you had time enough to see it, but I told you, open up with, you know what I'm saying, what was going on with the Floyd, because yeah, I, I knew he was going to come with that. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something that ain't nobody told you, man. You special, CP, because that man tried to throw you off your cue, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I felt like it was, I felt like it was ESP application that he was giving you, man, because he was trying to ask you questions that he thought you won't prepare to prepare for. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your brain cells is like a monitor, man. You got that whole game yeah. down packed. You are not sport. only just love the Knicks, you love the sport. So when he asked you all them questions, you should have seen his face, you know what I'm saying, in that, in that screen. Go back and look at the preview and look at his face every time you answered and delivered them questions. He ain't think he ain't think you was gonna be able to do that. That's why he asked you those bozo questions, you know what I'm saying? And you smacked them right upside his head and his own building, man. Leave my man alone and stop playing games with. Matter of fact, we don't even want to come on your show no more. You need to come over here so we can call yeah, in and ask some questions. Because I know if I get a chance to get at, to get at your nugget, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you don't know nothing about boxing. Because I'm going to come stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. I'm going to put you in your place, man. You know what I'm saying? But I love and respect what you're doing, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got your man CK2K. And I love the way you was calling that game today, too, man. I hit you up. I still ain't got your cash app right down pack, man. You might get, get CP to text it to me because gotcha. you deserve, you know what I'm saying, for somebody to be touching you up, man. I don't care if you do it from the love and do it from the heart. You deserve, you know what I'm saying, to have somebody support doing what you're doing too, you know what I'm saying? And I love to see both of y'all together, man. But you got to pre appreciate, you know what I'm saying? My man got that spree wear right there. And get ready, get out of the way, you know what I'm saying? So everybody, you know what I'm saying, if you don't win it, don't feel like you took an L, you know what I'm saying? We all winning right here. He That's might right. come back the next game to get to the run and bring out that nine guard. And you know, how y'all like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I'm and if I got to help him pay for that, I help him pay for that. You know what I'm saying? You got to love, appreciate what we got going on, man. Respect what's happening, you know what I'm saying? And I need my man Julius, you know what I'm saying, to be in the A-N-T. You know what I'm saying? You know what that is? That's all. That's A for the all, N for the NBA, and the T for the team. I need for him to be talking about the A-N-T, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what he deserves. Because he's showing and proving each and every game. This is where we belong. We knocking off big time people, you know what I'm saying? We knocking off playoff teams. I don't care if it's in the East or if it's in the West, you get in our face, you know, so we're going to handle our piss, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how it is. And I'm going to see y'all this weekend, you know what I'm saying? I got the Toronto Raptors. Matter of fact, whatever you want to call I got the Florida Raptors. I don't know where they playing that, you know what I'm saying? But they over here and they ain't even been home. So we're going to choke them out, you know what I'm saying? Our defense, I name my defense is the Python. You know what the Python do? It wrap around you and squeeze the life out you. That's what we be doing, you know what I'm saying? This team, when they get hectic, you know what I'm saying? We play around with y'all a little bit, but then we put that Python and Squeeze you, man. I'm saying once we squeeze that life, mm. it's over. It's Reynolds. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Happy birthday, Damn. Jay Boogie. <laughs> <laughs>